Health news now, sunscreen is making headlines with reports surfacing that products sold in Europe, Japan and South Korea offer more protection from the sun than those sold here in the U.S. The reason? The FDA's ability to approve the chemical filters in sunscreen sold abroad. Apparently, the FDA is strapped to a law dating back to 1938 that requires sunscreens to be tested on animals and classified as drugs rather than as cosmetics. So Americans are not likely to get those better sunscreens, which block the UV rays that can cause skin cancer and lead to wrinkles. Joining me now is dermatologist Dr. Alika Haas of Mayo Clinic. Alika, this was surprising to me. What do you think about this? Well, I think it's a very valid concern, especially in our society. We often equate more to better, especially when it comes to skincare products, but safety and quality should really come first. So the FDA regulations of classifying this as a drug requires rigorous testing of sunscreens, and that can be expensive and it can take a lot of time. Mm. That's why we don't have a lot of these products. But we do have a lot of great sunscreens here in the U.S. And just sticking with a physical blocking sunscreen will give enough UVA protection to fight skin aging and skin cancers. So bottom line for consumers then, I mean, what are they to do? Is it still perfectly fine to use, you know, products made here in the U.S.? I do think it's perfectly fine. And the truth is, is that most people are not using sunscreens adequately and they're not taking all of the sun protective measures that we recommend. So actually keeping a sunscreen by your toothbrush, putting it on every single day, just like brushing your teeth, is actually the first step. And if a lot of people start doing that, reapplying when they're outdoors, consider sun protective clothing, covering their arms, neck, chest, and wearing a big hat, mm -hmm. that will give enough en enough protection. And we do have safe and effective options here. Yeah, I like that. That's a yeah. nice little tip for people who forget. Keep it right next to your toothbrush. Make it part of the routine. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Alika, thank you so much.